Hey guys, it's Deli here, and today we're in the lovely Sunset Valley. Uh, basically, I've been getting a lot of um, messages and tweets asking me what my favorite expansion pack is and which expansion packs I think are most worthwhile for purchasing um, from the Sims 3 franchise. So I thought the easiest way to answer those questions would be just to show you guys in a video. So if we scroll down here, I've kind of made some dummy rooms to show you guys uh, what each of the expansion packs kind of look like to get a quick look and feel. This isn't going to be a really long video, um, it's just to look at the purely the build and buy objects, not the actual gameplay of each pack or the worlds, uh, or create a sim because that would take a lot longer. But first of all, this is The Sims 3 Showtime. This is the basic look and feel of it. Uh, the world is Starlight Shores, which is based on Hollywood. So of course it's a very glamorous uh, expansion pack. You can see there is a huge TV, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why anyone would need that in their house, but in Starlight Shores, the sky's the limit. So, or should we say the stars? Ha <laughs> ha, pun, pun. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anywho, you can see here, there's a lot of glass objects, um, dining tables, I guess a special mention would have to go out to these huge posters, which I think are really rad. Great for teenage bedrooms and stuff like that. Uh, also, of course, you get a lot of stage props for the stage careers, like pancakes and ice cream cones. But personally, I don't really want a pile of pancakes <laughs> in my build. So each there and there, I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Uh, you may like pancakes in your house and that's absolutely fine. Uh, so the best things about this pack I'd have to say would be probably the pool tables actually. This was the first expansion pack to have pool tables, I believe, uh, and I was very excited about that. Uh, where are we? Oh, special mention to this bar stool as well. That is a really cool bar stool. Um, yeah, here are the pool tables. They're pretty rad. Uh, there's one and then there's a more modern one as well. So yeah, that is showtime for you, the general gist of it. If we move across here, you can see this is very different. This is The Sims 3 University Life. Basically, it's got a very, you know, everyday youthful feel about it. Um, I really like it. There's tons of decor items, uh, even little noodles, which I think is so cute. And so does Meg Love, Loves Games. Uh, really cool stuff. A lot of skill building activities as well, like easels and this weird skeleton thing, which I would be so creeped out having that at the end of my bed and it would be like so scary to wake up to. <laughs> anyway, there's also some great posters again for layering and whatnot. Uh, and I love, love this little ducky light. Um, so cute. Like it's so typically university life. I don't know when you have like when you're a poor student, people just pick up these random as items that you're like, I have no idea where you got that from. And I might mention who would think to actually buy this place in the first place before you get it secondhand at a garage sale. Someone would have originally bought something like that, but maybe it's a collectible or something. I don't know. Uh, interesting though. Interesting. Again, each to their own. This is The Sims 3 Seasons and this is... This expansion pack I like for gameplay. It is, I feel like it's a core expansion pack to get for your Sims 3 game because you have seasons in your game, which is amazing and adds a whole new dimension. Uh, but I don't know, it's, the furnishing is very, I feel like it's a very feminine uh, pack in a way because it's obviously very inspired by nature. Uh, this painting is actually cool as a special mention. You can change the color of it, uh, which is really quite cool. Um, but yeah, you can tell a lot of the objects inspired by nature. I mean, you have this shell here, we've got the lotus flowers uh, there. This coffee table, you can tell it's inspired by kind of like tree branches and uh, yeah, I don't know, very nature inspired. I like it for gameplay more so than the actual content. Um, over here to Island Paradise, oh, such a good expansion pack. First of all, it's amazing for builders because obviously you are able to build houses on boats, which is amazing. You also get stilted foundations, which is amazing uh, with this expansion pack. 
really cool. Unless, no, I think everyone got that with the game update and ladders, actually. But still, it came out when this expansion pack came out. And it's just awesome. The world is Le Paradiso is stunning. And I love these little lanterns and, you know, boating items. I think the main thing I like about this pack is the indoor plants. This is one of my favorites here. Uh, boats and landscaping items, which I've actually put a few of the trees just here to have a peek at. You can see they're very colorful and, and pretty. Uh, it's got kind of a Spanish influence to it as well, a lot of the houses, but it's also very kitsch. You can see by this kind of hanging fish and parrot and uh, there's a lot of items that are kind of like, um, oh, what's the word? I don't know, they're a little bit humorous, I suppose. Like, you get benches made out of eskies and that kind of thing. So, it's definitely very summery. Uh, very high up there for me, personally. If we move across, this is The Sims 3 Supernatural. And I love Supernatural. I love these, like, creepy-ass teddies. <laughs> it's really cool. Personally, I don't use this for gameplay. I do like the content, however. I love some of the carpets. Uh, the rugs are really cool. I think some of the artwork's really interesting. And this is my favorite artwork of all time, the tapestry uh, hidden behind a curtain here. Uh, also for builders, there are awesome big, big windows uh, from this stuff pack. I mean, not stuff pack, expansion pack. Uh, really cool windows. I'm just trying to find them if we scroll through here. You get French doors, which is really cool. Love, love a good French door. <laughs> and uh, big bay windows also, uh, which for some reason isn't working. Oh well. But basically that's the general gist. Of course, it has a lot of kind of creepy items because it's got that supernatural theme, but uh, very cool if you mix it with more modern day things. It's kind of got a storybook slash gothic theme going on. This is Into the Future. Into the Future is actually amazing for builders. Uh, these windows are an example. I love them. They're really nice. Um, great skylights you can get with it. Uh, a lot of the furniture is obviously very futuristic, like these holographic lamps, this weird as <laughs> art easel and this kind of chibi staircase. But the thing is you can use a lot of these items, we're missing a chair, uh, to Use in the modern day or the current day. I mean, these pots and stuff are really cool. So I love it. And you also get an indoor garden, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, Into the Future is really, really good for building. Uh, definitely recommend it in terms of that. Uh, here is World Adventures. And my email has just gone off. But <laughs> World Adventures, I've done the best job I could here fusing together three different cultures. Basically, this... <laughs> this pack allows you to be able to travel to France, China, or Egypt. So I've fused all of those uh, cultures together here. To be honest, I probably don't use this pack much. I don't really use the gameplay and I... I don't know. These items... The, my favorite items actually come from Bite a Bug, which are these vases and uh, this kind of bowl thing. That's my favorite part of the pack. So. For me, this pack wasn't necessary, but I'm glad I have it because it adds a little bit more culture to my game. But then again, if you like a lot of eclectic items and cultured items, it's pretty cool. If we move across here, this is The Sims 3 Ambitions. And I mean, I love this kind of wallpaper and the floorboards that came with this. I use them a lot, but this is all pretty much about the working sim. Uh, you know, I've put a lot of kind of s items from the style Korea, the stylus Korea, uh, really cool. You also got digital frames in this where you can actually put your own photos in there uh, that your sims take, which is really handy for covering walls. This was a really cool pack. I also really loved the town Twinbrook. It was really cool. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I Oh, actually, actually, how could I forget? Another really cool thing about Ambitions, if I can find it here, is the introduction of laundry items. I mean, you can, whoa, that is not a laundry, that is a light bulb. Um, oh, where are we? Here we go. So, oh, I don't know why this isn't working, but you can kind of see here, there are dryers and washing machines, which are really very good for making your houses more realistic. And um, you can get lots of like washing items and whatnot. So really cool, awesome for skill-based items as well. Uh, definitely high up there for me. 
Late night. Okay, late night expansion pack. I think was the... No, I'm lying. Was it the first expansion pack I bought? It was one of the first ones I bought. And man, Bridgeport is so much fun to play in. The high-rise buildings are awesome. But basically, I think my favorite part of this expansion pack is the fact that you get really nice wallpapers and really nice floor tiles. But from a builder's perspective, that's what I love about it. Uh, yeah, just the wallpapers and the tiles I'm into. The furniture is really nice as well. You get a lot of musical items. And I love that the nightclub theme gives you kind of these walls that are beaded and stuff like that. Really cool expansion pack. Highly recommend Bridgeport as well. Uh, this is a Sims 3 Pets. You can see the different floor tiles and wall coverings that come with it. I really like the pets, not so much for gameplay, but more so for fusing rustic items with my other expansion packs. I don't think this is a necessary expansion pack for content by itself, but it's really fun to play with mixing it. Uh, in saying that, if you're really into pets, you should definitely get it because it is awesome. And I love this little rock face. I mean, he's so crazy, but he's so cool. I was that kid who basically had to play with a rock because my parents wouldn't let me have a dog or anything. So <laughs> I, uh, I, if I were a sim, I'd have that rock. Although I did have guinea pigs, which I loved my guinea pigs very dearly. <laughs> and last of all, but not least, is The Sims 3 Generations. And I've got to say this is right up there with Seasons because I think it is a must-have in your Sims game, just because it adds so much gameplay options. You know, you can get your Sims married and they can have the full-on bucks party and, you know, your kids can go on field trips, your kids can throw parties when their parents go away. I mean, it's so cool. And if you look around at all the content, it's just really pretty, all the child-friendly things. You also get video cameras as well. Uh, but yeah, great pack. I love these lights as well. I just think it's necessary to have. So in conclusion of all of that, I think the best packs for building, in terms of building into the future, uh, and ugh, into the future, and I'd have to say Island Paradise. And then for furnishing, I think the best packs would have to be, oh man, it's so hard to choose. I think university life has a lot of furniture that I couldn't really live without now. I mean, I use a lot from it. Also, late night, I really like a lot of the furniture from there. So probably those two. And yeah, as an overall, I guess if you could only get one expansion pack, I mean, obviously seasons I'd have to have for seasons, but one expansion pack would have to be Island Paradise. Um, just amazing. The world's amazing. The content's amazing. And it just brings so much fun and light into your game. I highly recommend it. So that's me. That's what I think. I hope this overview kind of helps a few of you. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But I will speak to you soon.